Good God morning. Facebook said there's only 97. Good God morning again. Says I'm only one of 97 people on Facebook. Why is that? Because it's Saturday, Rosa J. And folks sleep in on Saturday, don't they? Well, <clears throat> so seemingly... I was not meant to sleep today because I've been up pretty much all night. Mm. What have I been doing? I've been ah, listening to music, walking around, finally taking a shower, getting dressed, and reviewing lessons. Uh. So. Since I'm online and I'm the only person seemingly awoke, let us begin this lesson. Who am I? I am Rosa J. Doing it God's way each and every day. And thank you for coming on. Thank you for listening. Thank you for replaying. Thank you for sharing. And thank you just for being here with me. Oh, the trash man is up. <laughs> yes, he is. Oh, I know California people are probably still asleep. But it's all good. It's all good because it is my commitment to be here at 6.30 every morning. I started this every morning since January, right? We're doing pretty good. I must admit, I thank myself. I thank God for waking me up. I thank God for everything, for friends like you. I thank God for life and love and peace and happiness. For I realize that this is God's Jehovah, creator and sources, only will for me. And for you. Yes. So let's walk into this great place called love. Peace. Happiness. Joy. Prosperity. And all those good things that go with it. We say them. We feel them until they manifest. We allow ourselves to grow. So let's start. Right. Let's pray. Eric, you're up, huh? I didn't think anyone was up with me. <laughs> Thank you for joining, sweetie. Share this out. Father God, we come to you today in joy, happiness, and peace. We work our way through all situations, for we know that all situations are solved right now as we speak. No matter what shows up in our life, we will still continue to have faith in you, Father. We'll share our joy, our love, our peace, and the words that you speak to us, to everyone we meet. Not based upon what they do, but who they are, for they are a child of God, and we are grateful for them. We ask that you give us all peace, blessings, and love, and let us share, be joyous, be happy, be free. We just want to say thank you in gratitude and love. We play, pray, <laughs> and we also play. But we pray here today for everyone's salvation. That they may know who you are and whose they are. So that whatever goes on outside of themselves will not affect their natural being. Being an image and likeness of you, Father God. We are grateful. We are grateful, we are grateful, for we know you have a master plan, and all we have to do is allow it to work in our spirit, in our lives, and share it with our family just by being your representative. So we say thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. Ashe. And so it is. Yes, namaste, namaste. So, 
This morning we are in A Course in Miracles. First off, let me introduce myself. I am Rosa J, doing it God's way each and every day. So I come here at 6.30 every morning to share the course in, A Course in Miracles lesson. This is, this is a book and a process that I have been using to give peace to myself and the world. For if I fix me, I fix everyone else. If I allow God to work in my life, he is also working in yours. And I am grateful to do this and be this. Sharing this space. Mm. So today's lesson is a review on lessons 99 and 100. And I have to always go back to that lesson before I speak on the review because the review is very short. It's very, very short. And sometimes you have to go back to the original lesson in order to truly understand what A Course in Miracles is, is teaching in that lesson. So lesson 99 states... And it's in the description. Whew. For evening review and morning review and evening review. 99 is salvation is my only function here. My function here is to forgive the world for all the errors I have made. For thus I am released from them with all the world. Mm. So what does that mean? To forgive the world for all the errors I have made and thus releasing the world from all the errors. And what are errors? Errors are anything that we think is wrong. Suffering. Pain. Unhappiness, poverty, all of that, that we think is the truth. For once we forgive the world and forgive ourselves for thinking that, we thus forgive everyone else for thinking that. See, God gave us abundance. God gives us and offers us peace and love and joy. God offers us solution to whatever situation we are coming into. Hey, Fisher, how are you? God gives us all of that. But sometimes our crazy mind wants to tell us that we live in unhappiness, that we live in poverty, that we live in angst and anxiety because of the situations outside of ourselves. See, we don't have to allow that chaos of the outside world to affect who we are in all times. Yes, we may um, find ourselves in a situation where we may be unhappy for a minute. But in knowing who God created us to be and what he offers to us is joy, happiness, love, abundance, peace, harmony with the world, we can step out of the chaos and into God's spirit. That mind thinking like Christ. He didn't worry about where he ate or where he slept. He didn't worry about whether he had cash or not. He did all, all he just allowed his father to serve him, to give him. And he went about his business sharing that with everyone. So we must forgive ourselves for thinking like that when it shows up. <laughs> and some of you may say, well, how do you do that? By saying to yourself, salvation is my only function here and realizing that you don't have to step into that unforgiving place that man wants to put you in, that you want to believe is truth. And it's not the truth with a capital T. It's not the mind with a capital M of God. So we have to move out of that and forgive ourselves. And there are a lot of ways to do that. And yes, the other day I was saying the Haponopono prayer. I apologize. Please forgive me. I love you and thank you when I think I don't have enough. 
when I think I'm not enough, when I think that someone is attacking me. It may sound like it, it may even feel like it, but you cannot be attacked by anything. People always talk about old curses and all that. You can't, that can't happen to you. No one can attack a child of God. We think we are, but the mind, our little case M, really is not telling us the truth. So we have to always remember over and over again when our feelings get involved that that's not the truth and we can change those feelings and we can remember and it's just easy by saying that I am the salvation salvation is my only function to forgive is my only function to share joy, love, happiness, and peace is my only function. And sometimes it's just being quiet and saying to yourself over and over, that's not the truth. That's not the truth. And knowing that it's not. Knowing and believing that no matter what it looks like and feels like and seems like, that is not God's truth. So sometimes we just have to practice and practice and practice and open our minds and our hearts to hear the truth and be the truth. So lesson 40, um, our next lesson. Mm. Thank you, God, for that lesson. Remember to forgive is, is a can be difficult, but if you allow yourself to see things differently, to feel things differently. It will come eventually. And it'll come quicker. It'll come quicker. The more you practice, the quicker it'll come. And one day, you'll be able to erase all those chaotic thoughts in your mind. As Fisher reminds us in class, and I always do, go within, be still, and the truth will come. Yes? Yes. Thank you, Fisher. So, uh, the next lesson, lesson 100. Ooh, my part is essential to God's plan for salvation. Ah, here we go again. What is my part? I am essential to the plan of God for the salvation of the world. For he gave me his plan that I might save the world. Just by being in a forgiving space, in a loving place, in a place of peace and harmony, not debate, not seeing the world as it shows up nine times out of ten, not understanding and forgiving again. Just as God's son completed his father, so your part. In it completes your father's plan. Mm. The idea of salvation reverses the mad belief in separate, separate thoughts and separate bodies. We want to separate ourselves. The world wants to, but we want to join those parts together. We want to be in the likeness and image of peace and love. God's will for us is to be happy. And we have to also want that happiness. We have to also want to be uh, capable and strong enough to fight all this sadness and hurt and pain and, and chaos that's always coming up to us. I do that a lot of ways because I don't look at the news. I don't listen to people that are fussing and complaining. And if I have to be the listening ear to that, the whole time they're complaining, I'm praying for them, that they see the peace of God, that they learn whatever lesson needs to be learned in that situation and know that all they have to do is open their heart. All I have to do is open my heart and see peace. And the solution will come. For we are an integral part of changing this world. And we have to stand in that. For remember, 
God has the master plan and all we have to do is allow it to happen in us. With us. Always. And so we practice this over and over and over because it always appears in our life to see how we're growing so that we can grow more, so that we can assist, so that we can be an essential part of this plan, so that we can walk in heaven in happiness and joy and peace and love and not always go back to that pain and angst and anxiety that the world wants to tell us that we live in because that's not the, the truth. It may be a truth, it may be a fact, but it's not God's plan. That's man doing his thing. So I have to always remember this, always. And sometimes you have to just let it out. Sometimes you have to cry and stomp and then go into peace and meditate to remind yourself who you are and whose you are and who has the master plan, not me. My plan is only to allow God's joy, happiness. Let him work it out. I don't have to fuss and fight and argue and all that craziness. But I do have to practice. Because it is not a test. It is a lesson in growth. This thing called life. Yes. And sometimes. You just have to sigh and shake your head and keep on moving and stay in happiness, joy, peace, and love. For we are who we are. And when we start accepting that, we become, life becomes better. Life becomes happier. Life becomes easier. And it's not that you don't care. You just pray. Because if I, can't, if I cannot change anything, I can change me. That's it and that's all. So for the morning practice, remember, sal salvation is my only function here. My part is essential to God's plan for salvation. That's it. That's all. And breathe. Salvation is my only function here. And my part is essential to God's plan for salvation. I am Rosa J. Doing it God's way each and every day. And I want to thank you for joining me. If you're interested in getting my book, the link is in there. You can just go to the I Am Rosa J page on Facebook and hit shop. My book there is also on uh, Kindle. I Am Affirmations for the Living. You can get it there. Um, also, if you're interested in learning more about the A Course in Miracles, I also put that link in there. A-C-I-M dot org. And go to my YouTube page and subscribe and like my videos. I've been doing this for a while. I desire more subscriptions because I desire this to be out there. So that people can find an easier, better way to be peaceful and walk in harmony. So I'm on my way to another place in time and I am opening the door to allow you to come with me. Yes. Remember, you are the image and likeness of God and this journey can be easy if you allow it. Namaste. Have a good God day and I'll see you tomorrow at 6.30. Be peaceful. Share this out. God loves you, and it is our plan and his plan for us to forgive everybody for what I have in my book.
I forgive you before it is even necessary.